Welcome, if you're new here, I'm Melissa, and today's video is all about my Monstera Adansonii variegata. You can clearly see it is growing all white. <laughs> It's kind of funny because normally when you have a variegated plant, you want more variegation, right? You hope to have a highly variegated plant. But in this case, this is too much variegation. <laughs> we don't want all white leaves because, you know, all white leaves, they just can't maintain themselves. The green parts of plants contains chlorophyll and that is needed for photosynthesis. So once a plant is growing all white, it's eventually going to brown those leaves off, which it's currently doing. It's eventually doomed, right? So, <laughs> Uh, yeah, I don't really recommend this plant, honestly. If you have been eyeing a variegated Adansonia, I say stay away from it. I feel like the plant either reverts, which means the growth no longer produces variegation, it goes back to all green, or it grows like extremely white and highly variegated and really hard to grow. I got mine as a tiny, very tiny plant from Botanica's back in the day. It was one that I really wanted because one, I love Monstera and I love Monstera adansonii and I love variegated plants. But little did I know, this was what was gonna happen to mine. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to bend you down and I'm going to talk more about how to go about saving this and like I said, I'm going to completely chop it up and hopefully get a plant growing. Uh, we will see. I'm crossing my fingers because this, this cannot continue anymore. I'm tired of looking at this plant. <laughs> Okay, I had to change directions. The sunlight coming through my window was super intense. So if you take a look at your vine, my vine is growing like a half moon in a sense, whereas one side has green and the other side is all white. So the green side is where I want the growth to come out of. So where you see the leaf, so you see the leaf and the petiole, and it comes down to where the node is. So each node has its own growth point. And so when I chop in between each node, it should activate a new growth point to come out. So if that growth point is on the green side, which I want, hopefully the new growth will come out green. If I chop a vine and that node is coming in on the white part, then it's gonna to continue to grow all white and that's what I don't want. I had chopped this plant on the pole like this because I was uh, trying to prevent the all white from happening and it didn't work but you can see it came out on the wrong side. It came out on the white side which caused this white growth to happen and it doesn't have any green so it is dying off and I did that a few more times. I cut below here the same thing happened. I had several nodes that tried to activate and they came out all white and it just died. And it actually died uh, all the way down. It completely just died off and rotted. So I don't even have a plant technically in the soil anymore. It's just like, that's where it ends. So the only roots this plant has is actually in the moss poles. I feel like I am very unlucky in the sense that a lot of the growth points are on the white side of the vine, which is very sad because I don't want the white growth. So this one node here right below where my fingernail is, I don't know if you can see the tiny little growth point. That is where the new growth will emerge once I chop above that node and it activates, which means it'll reroute energy and push that growth point out. So I don't want to cut above here because that means that's going to grow and I don't want that to grow on the white side. So I need to find one of those little growth points on the green side and cut above. I sort of feel like these two uh, leaves that have green right here, I sort of feel like their nodes are on, the growth point is on the green side. It's hard to tell because the petiole here, if you follow the petiole all the way down to the node, it's like tucked in there. So I can't actually see by pulling it because I don't want to like actually pull the leaf off, but I don't see the growth point on the white side at all. So it makes me believe that it is on here. So I think what I'm going to do is, so this little bottom section is already cut. So I'm going to take that off. I'm going to cut above this one here where my finger is, and hopefully I can get some green. And then I think I will cut above this green one as well. So hopefully I can prop two that will grow green. I don't see hardly any green left from like here up. I might just end up chucking this 
cutting because it's only growing white and the stem is less and less green as it grows. So this is pretty much just like dead right here. But I might just stick it in water or something and see what happens with it. And then hopefully um, by propagating all these back, I will have a new growth with some green. So that is my plan. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm gonna grab all of my supplies and bend you down here and we'll get to cutting this plant. First things first, we're going to uh, take apart this pole. I'm just gonna get rid of the base. We don't need any of these roots anymore because we don't have a plant growing down here. Where I have the two poles connected right here, I'm gonna try and slide this out, but before I do that, or before I can do that, I'm gonna to have to cut on the vine. So, the last bit of green that I see on this vine is right here. Do you see that green line right there where my finger is? And then the plant above this leaf here, the vine is completely white. So I, I'm gonna cut on the vine right here. I'm just kind of pull this apart. Had to sacrifice the roots on a couple of them. This node here is like growing into the pole so I can't just like slide it out. So I may have to cut one more time. Or I can just cut, let me cut the plastic piece here on the pole below so I can slide it up. I forgot these things were locked. That's probably why I was struggling to pull it off. Oh, whoops. I have to unlock these. No wonder <laughs> my brain wasn't braining. Now it should pull right out. I accidentally broke this root system though, that sucks. So this is our good section. This is what we want to save. Most of these nodes should be rooted in here already, which will be a good thing. I was wanting to use stratum, but I might just stick with sphagnum moss. And these ones don't open from the front. So unfortunately, I won't be able to get this out of here that easily. In order to really save the root system, I'm gonna have to take this moss off the roots, which is gonna take a little bit of time. I'm just moistening it. Wet moss is easier to take off than dry moss. So yeah, you can see how many roots are rooted into here. I know it's really hard to see because the back of this pole received a lot of light. So there's a lot of algae, which is harmless if you see the green. So all I'm doing is basically, just like if this were a normal propagation in sphagnum moss, I'm just taking all the moss out of here, off the root system. And then once that is out, I'll be able to slide the plant through the front because um, since this doesn't open from the front, like I was saying, I can't just like pull this out of here because this can't fit through the front. Um, the roots will be able to pull out of the front. I just have to get rid of the moss. Um, so yeah, I'll probably just uh, take my time so I don't pull a ton of the roots off and then I'll come back on um, and show you once I get all the moss off. Okay, I think I have most of the root system or the most of the moss off. You can see the root system that's left. And so I should be able to slide this off the pole pretty easily. The roots should just kind of fall right out of there. Some of them are pretty, pretty long. Um, this stem does have a green, but since this was one that I had already cut before, none of this activated. And let's see, we do have a node 
or a growth point right down here that is green. Do you see right here? Uh, so if I cut above that, it should activate that to grow. This one started to activate uh, when I had cut before, but it's on the white part. Uh, this one, again, started to activate, but it's growing on the white part. And this top one is what this produced here, this white part. So I'm gonna cut this off right here. So this plant is a dead plant. And what I mean by that is, so this node here was used to grow this. So I can stick this in a soil and see what other growth comes out of here grows. But since these are all white leaves, this plant is just gonna die. This cutting isn't gonna do anything. It's literally all white. And um, since the growth point was already used, literally the only growth that's coming out of here is white. So this is just getting trashed. That is like a dead node. It's not gonna grow or live or anything. Now, this section, we have a lot to work with here. What I'm gonna do is cut uh, this top section off here. So I have a little bit of a green on this cutting and I have two nodes. I have one here and one here. And I'm hoping that it's, there's only a tiny bit of green. So this one, since it was on the top part that was growing more white, this one may not do anything. So this is very questionable. I'm gonna see if it grows anything green, but I'm, I don't have high hopes for this cutting. I'm gonna cut this bottom one off here. Now this one uh, I have high hopes for. This is our bottom cut, and I believe the growth point bud is on the green down there and it has a good root system. So I probably will uh, pop this one up and see the growth that happens out of here. I'm gonna cut in between these two nodes here. Now this one has two nodes. I left this one empty because the growth point is on the white side. So that one is gonna be probably no good. But I have hopes that this one on the top one is on the green side. So I have hopes that the growth will continue to grow green. If that one activates and that one is all white, I'll probably just, um, cut that one off. I think I'm gonna leave this one as a two piece as well. Um, I can't see where the growth point is, so I'm hoping that it is on the white or on the green part. This leaf here is all white, but this one does have a good amount of green. So I think I will uh, plant these three separately, just like so. One, two, and three cuttings. And like I said, this one, I don't have high hopes for this one, but we're gonna plant this one up anyway and see what happens. And yeah, this one, uh, I honestly, I just feel like tossing this. This isn't really gonna do anything or survive for that matter. It just has no green to grow from. Especially since I cut the base away, it just literally has no photosynthesis happening on this plant to keep this alive. I really don't know what to do with this plant. I was gonna cut the last bottom leaves off, but this one has green, it's like the most green, so I don't wanna get rid of that. So what I might do is just cut these uh, top little roots off here, and then just stick this in a jar of water like this and just see, just see what happens with it. But I imagine this entire thing's gonna brown. So I have uh, four cups, and what I'm gonna do is just plant these in sphagnum moss, our four separate vines. I'm just gonna use this here. Let them continue rooting in moss and kind of uh, letting their growth points activate and just seeing, like I said, just seeing what happens. This is the GT. I'm gonna put a tiny bit of fertilizer in this moss just to give them some nutrients.
Whoops, I forgot that I had this tiny piece here. The bottom one, this is on the green side and this is on the white. So what I'm gonna do is cut this one here so that I have the green one as a wet stick. So I'm gonna plant these two down into another one with moss. I have to go get more moss and just see what happens with the little wet sticks. So I'll do that and then I'm gonna get a vessel to stick this in water and then I'll be back here to show you what they all look like. I'm back. I got them all potted up and I'm gonna show you them all. I'll start with the all white one. So I just have some water in this plastic cup. I didn't have any glass ones that were available to use right now. I imagine this is all going to brown and die. It's not going to survive, but I stuck it in water. At least I can look at it and it will be pretty for a little bit. Uh, and then it will probably just, yeah, brown off and not make it. But yeah, that's that one. I'm just gonna sit it on my shelf with these and see what happens. I have one, two, three, and four cups like this. I did put a little label in one of them just so I could keep track of when I actually did this. And I put the GT fertilizer, I mixed it with the sphagnum moss. So hopefully it doesn't shock too much coming off the pole. Um, it will take a bit of time for them to activate new growth, but these guys did have a pretty hefty root system already. So I feel like that's on their side. Uh, these two, I'm not sure what they're gonna do. I think it was this one that I left two nodes on and this one might have two as well, I don't remember. Uh, these ones weren't as rooted, so I'm not sure how they're gonna do, uh, but we'll see. So I have two more to kind of see what happens with. Not realize my battery was going out. Okay, so the last one, I had the two little wet sticks. I buried them down in the moss. This one I added in some perlite. I had started adding some perlite in some of my moss propagations, and this one was already in the bathroom, pre-moistened. So I might actually cover this uh, so it can hold humidity in. These little wet sticks are gonna need like 100% humidity to do well. So that's the only thing I have to do with this one. So if you are dealing with more variegation or less variegation, depending on like your particular plant, I would suggest chopping back and seeing what happens. I would chop back to where you last see variegation on the stem and actually look at where that bud is, that activation, that growth point is coming out on the vine. Genetics is random. So even if it is on, say like this one, it's on a green side, it doesn't, matter, it doesn't guarantee that it's gonna grow green. It could produce a green leaf and then the next ones grow all white. It's hard to say with genetics, um, but that I feel like would give you your best chance of chopping back. And just keep in mind, plants that are highly variegated need a lot of light because they do have less chlorophyll than plants that are more green. So make sure that uh, you give your plants that are variegated more light. And if it's within the genetics of the plant, it should bring out that color more. So I'm gonna put these under light and hopefully in some time, I can get some growth, some good growth growing. <laughs> Um, but if you have any questions about anything that I did or if I didn't explain something well enough or you still like were curious about something else, just let me know down below and I will definitely keep you updated on them and how they're doing. And thank you for watching and I will talk to you guys again soon. Do you guys see little Luna down here sleeping? She's so cute.